want to welcome back to High Button Sports here as we get set for action here in Bedford, Nova Scotia, here at the HRM Center Pad D, a home game here for your Bedford Chivalry Blues. The Bedford Blues 9-0-0 on the season, absolutely dominated in this provincial Nova Scotian AAA league, and we are set for action here as that puck gets worked over to Hackle there on the left side, and we'll get more into it as the game goes on, but Bedford just some pure domination so far this year. That one worked over to the right side, picked up, and then worked to the middle, and looks like they're looking to start quick here. Burke now coming in, rushing down, and save there by the goaltender. First save of the game here, and we are underway as the Bedford Blues, the 9-0-0 team, the only undefeated team left in the league with that clean, regular, no overtime, no ties, none of that jazz action. Bedford, the last team standing with that title, so looking to continue that on today and reach double-digit wins here for the Bedford Blues. That one worked out in front, a nice chance there. Fred shot in, Surrett has that fall off the end of his stick. Surrett then works that into the back right corner. Picked up and worked back to the blue line. Stepping along that blue line, hard shot there by McPhee. McPhee with a nice play there to cross over across the blue line and get that shot off, then worked in behind the net. Held on to into the back left corner and surveying, gonna get that knocked away off Brian Stick. He's gonna go hard into that puck though, into the back left corner. Back to the line there, in between, and falls outside the zone by Hopkins, and they're looking for a way out of the zone, and just held up. These tants now still get it. It looks like well, a penalty, so our first power play of the game nice and early. They get him with a tripping call. The ref puts the hand up there, and it'll be an East Hans power play as the player was trying to get back and play that puck hard, and they both kind of went down there, and a little confusion there, but that'll be a trip nonetheless as Surrett heads to the box there, trying to play D as that got pinched back by Hopkins and was covering the forward back on D and then takes the penalty. So, power play here for East Hans early. Good opportunity. That puck dropped in. Back to the line and off a shin pad there. Escape by Van Polgeest. Worked over to the right side. McLean tries to chase that down, but it'll be back to the line and then backhanded out there by Duffy. That'll be a high stick there, so it'll be a whistle outside the zone as Rolston on East Hans tried to knock that puck down. And I wait here as that one dropped in. Back to the left side, Van Polgeest sends that down. It'll bounce off the end boards there. McLean tries to circle. There's still a minute 34 left in the power play. That one falls outside the zone there. Now McLean cutting down the left side with it. He's going to do a little toe drag catch up front. Shoots and a save there by the goalie. As they try to tuck it by on the far side, Gillis then comes back. Gillis then turns that around into his own end. He'll fall down on his knees, but still advance that puck forward. But now he's Tance gets it. It is Bedford now. O'Leary circling back and getting that on the stick. Over to the stick of O'Leary down the left side. Just on side. O'Leary steps in for a shot. Hard in there with a nice glove save by the goaltender there. But not much of a power play so far for East Hans. A minute gone. They've been fighting to keep it out of their end there. O'Leary on the draw, land on left D. Chased in there. Circle back around the other side and it'll be hustled out of the zone. A nice hard pass to the middle on and off the stick and then worked out. Robertson shoots that down and hustling hard against that himself. Worked out of the zone with a nice hard pass. Now towards the middle, turned back the other way, and it could be a chance down the middle once again. Looking for the open lane, kind of cut to the outside, shoot, score! A goal there, a shorthanded marker coming off a high intensity rush out of the zone there as lots of speed there for Max Burke, and Burke's gonna put that in the back of the net. Burke, one of the best goal scorers on this Bedford team, and he showed you right there why he's got that title. All right, so one nothing. Bedford there, and puck dropped in there. Still 37 seconds for each chance to work on. That one sent down past Robertson. Chased into the zone there hard, and caught up along the boards. 
unassisted marker there on that turnover down the middle. That one worked back off the skate there and cutting up down the left side, looking for a cut to the middle there. Mood now looking for the shot, shoot, scores. Passed on the left side, finds the open area, and that'll be two nothing there as Burke and Mood go back to back on the same penalty kill. And that'll be two nothing. And I believe Bedford's taking a note on how to start games quick here. Is just a few weeks ago we were here and took them a while to get into their latest victory. I believe it was against Tassa where they were down and the game was tied into the third where they really took over. So looking like they're coming out hot here today. And you got to feel good about that if you're in the penalty box. Seb Surrett who took that penalty. Two short-handed goals while he's in the box. So I'm sure he'll be able to get over that penalty he took tripping kind of cover back a few minutes ago on the left side that puck gets worked in the middle and hustled out of the zone here now worked over to the right side pass just misses off the end of the stick there for Surrett who came out of the penalty box and now he's on the ice as he's Tance works that down the left side cutting towards the middle and cut off there Surrett then little chip pass to himself over to the right side Gonna try to work that away and falls back in the zone. Bedford now holding. Cutting down with it, McPhee sends that down into the zone. McLean putting some pressure on in the back left corner as well. Held on to O'Leary, now tries to work that front. O'Leary has an open shot, misses off the left side. It's East Hance shovels that out of the zone and that should go for an icing. And it'll be pulled back the other way. 10.48 left to go in the first shot. 6-1 to one here. And it's the start that Bedford wanted here today. As we kind of look back to their schedule so far this season. So we have the puck to be dropped there. That one into the skeets there in the middle, then worked out of the zone. Cut towards the middle again. East Hans with a shot down the left side. Shoots. No, off the crossbar. Looked like that one was maybe back bar, but they had him. Hit off the crossbar. That second shot shut in. Scrolls in behind. There's a tough one to fight. Front falls down, and East Hans right back in this game. 2 1. That first one, a little confusion here. It looked like it could potentially be in. Ref said it hit the crossbar. They come back and they put just a low shot with lots of traffic in front, and that trickles by. It'll be 2 1. And these Tants needed that boost there early in this game after the two short handed. Puck dropped in there, and it'll be picked up on the right side. and. Trying to work that out of the zone into the skate. Up the left side, chased after. Land's gonna go and he laid a bit of a hit there, not gonna lie, as it falls back to Robinson. He'll touch that one and that'll be a penalty there. And it'll be another short-handed chance here at a power play for East Hances. That was a hard one into the boards there, right on the blue line on the left side, trying to enter that zone. And Bedford looking to do what they did the first one and get two shorties. Meanwhile, East Hans gonna be trying to take advantage here and tie this game up. That one tipped in front. That one goes off the right side. Trying to work that one in front once again on and off the stick there on the left side, trying to advance it. Oh, and that's a what could be considered a hit on the side there, but looks like they're gonna say it was coincidental. So we we'll continue on down the right side. This game picking up in intensity. Cut into the zone. Trying to keep that in. Held off the knocked away, and it'll be a rush down for it as McPhee gets beaten. It'll be a breakaway. Chance for the shot. Score! Through the five hole. 2-2. Two -two. East hands taking advantage of the power play here. And it'll be 2-2 two -two here. With two back the other way. 
And if you hear yelling in my ear, that is because I've got the East Tants parents here to the left and they're very happy about that. So <laughs> just be aware there, but it'll be two toe here with 9.32 left in the first shot, six to four. As that puck gets dropped in there and they try to advance that forward off the left side. Held on to and just chipped out of the zone. Skated down Brewer now with it. Over to the blue line, sent in, tipped aside, puck loose there in front, shot in, and a nice save there by the goaltender. As Bedford maybe a little shocked here. It was just two nothing a few minutes ago, and now we're all tied up as we continue on. But I will say Bedford still had that strong start today, what they've been looking for, so. Looks like they're still locked in. A couple bad bounces. That one got by McPhee there on the line as he tried to walk it in. But now it'll be Bedford's turn to try to turn it up. Cutting towards the front there. Brian fans on that one. It goes back to Duffy on the line. Duffy works that down to the right side. Nice. He's got Surrett in front off the skate of Surrett. Worked in front once again, and that one goes wide. As Brewer tried to catch up to it, it'll be East Hans down the right side now. Getting pressured on towards the middle now. Duffy circling back. Duffy behind his own net. He'll work that up the right side as Surrett one touch passes that up to Brewer. Brewer will catch the middle of the ice there. Hand that puck off to Brian. Brian on side. Brian cutting to the middle. Cutting once again to the middle, looking for that shot. He'll hold on to it. Drop that back to Robertson on the line. Robertson with a hard shot off the left side. Chased after by Surrett into the back left corner. Back to Land. Land works that back down to Surrett. In behind the net now to Brian. Brian holds, tries to work that in front. There was a little bit of a split second there, no one there to pick it up. Robertson a hard shot in once again. Robert's looking, Robertson looking for that shot here the past few minutes and East Hance flicks that out of the zone. It'll be odd man rush the other way as East Hance picks it up but then Bedford will get it back down the left side and Brian's looking to use that speed on the left side. Circling back behind his own net, he'll work it out in front. That one tipped aside before McLean can get to it, but it'll be chased after nonetheless. McPhee picks that one up. McPhee now with it. He has Hopkins on the left side. Hopkins gonna work that in. Now down to McLean in the middle. He's gonna try to work it through and he'll get held up and that should be the first power play of the game here for Bedford as hooked on the way to the net there, cutting down the middle was McLean. It'll be time for Bedford's power play here. So the power play opportunity is two to one now for East Hands. Bedford looking to regain that lead. As two minutes on the clock here to work with for Bedford and still set up here for the power play. Over to McLean. McLean gets that back cleanly to his D-man. Worked over to McPhee. McPhee, hard shot, scores! Top left. And a perfect bomb into the back of the net, right by the goalie. Now that'll be 3-2, just six seconds into the power play. And that is a tough one to stop as McPhee making up for that bobble on the line that resulted in the tie game. And he'll put his team up 3-1. The absolute cannon, perfectly. And that's a shot not a lot of players can make at this age and at older ages, to be honest, as that was hard on the stick, right where you want it, and didn't flop, didn't knuckle puck out, just in the back of the net. Hakulich has to work that up the left side. It'll be East Hance shooting it in. Gallagher Temple works that off. Now towards the middle, that puck handed off. Hopkins. Hopkins gets that up to Burke. And that one's a delayed offside there as East Hans will have a chance to work it back. And East Hans now hands that off to the right side, puts that through the legs, tries to do it again, but it gets sent back. Back to Rolston. He'll work that, it'll just jump over the stick there. Back in the zone now is Burke. Burke getting pressure from behind. He'll hold on to it. Burke now sends that to the middle. It's off a shin pad as Hakula leaves that for Burke once again. Burke now cutting through the ice. He's got all five East Hans players around him into the back right corner and we'll get a line change there. Now towards the middle, turned over. Chance for Bedford to cut down. The D-man now has a chance to lean to the net. Shoots that, it just goes by as Duffy picked the perfect time to rush that puck in. Back to Duffy, Duffy down the left side, picked up in the zone, a nice play by Brian as he's got his man off the puck and now tries to work it back the other way and that would have been a nice one, but a tough play to pull off there as you go to wrap it around the left side and then you pull back to the right. Not easy to make that play at any level. Surrett 
leaves that puck for the icing and will be pulled back the other way. 3-2 here with 7.34 left to go in the first. Shots 8-5. As the Bedford team looking dialed in right now, trying to open up this lead and break open this game like they've done so many times this year with East Hance playing well enough to keep them at bay here with some good defense and holding them to the outside for the most part, not letting them get those breakaways that they're used to getting. Gillis now works down the right side and held up along the half wall there. East Hance, player gets pushed down, no call. Oh, there is a call on the player, it's just about a half second after, but that'll be back to the power play for East Hance as the man's down in the corner and he's using the butt of his stick to play it. Back to Gillis, I don't know if I've seen that before, but it'll be power play opportunity now here for East Hance to tie it up once again as three penalties here in the first seven minutes of this game for Bedford. Surrett goes back to the box. And East Hance will look to add on shots eight to five here so they're getting some opportunities and Gallagher Let's go, Temple or it might be it's actually snide back there my mistake of the the 31 and the 35 I couldn't see that second number as well but that is snide back there and net who's had a phenomenal year so far and well with Gallagher Temple but that one goes in and hits the post as they almost score it just as quick as Bedford did on their power play but instead it gets worked up down the left side and hops the stick and it'll be a foot race for it these tants looks like they're gonna be able to catch up to that all right Held on to, trying to cut that towards the middle. McLean will pick it up on the right side. McLean then works that in front, no one there to pick it up. It's a bit of a blind pass on that one. As it gets cut out of the zone now down the left side. Getting pushed out. East Hans still with possession deep in the zone off the end wall. Quinton Land now tries to play that, but it picked up by East Hans. Rolston shoots that in, it'll miss off the right side. Picked up by Robertson. Robertson backhands that. McAvoy shoots that in. Look, it's steered aside. Goes harder to the corner, looking for a chance there. Front tipped over to McLean, and McLean sends that down. As East Hant started to set up a nice little cycle in there on the power play, it gets stopped in its tracks. Just under six to play here in the first. Worked over to the left side. Picked up in the zone. Just on side now, trying to advance that puck. In behind, up the left side now, held on to, and Bedford looking to just flick that back out. Now on the left. Wolstein getting pressure, but they're gonna have a chance with it. He's tanked up the middle and oh, pass mood, but he's gonna be the one to retrieve that with 25 seconds left in the power play. Over to McPhee on the left side, and a hard pass to mood that just misses. McPhee now picks it up. Those go through the skates. 12 seconds left on the power play, and East Hans will have a potential odd man rush here. Nice pass over to the left side. Looking for the shot, shot off the crossbar into the mesh, and that was the best opportunity of the power play there for East Hans, and they just can't get it in. And it'll be a face off here, just outside the blue line here. As Burke waits for that to be dropped in. Gets it there on the right side, trying to advance it, but it'll be East Hans who have that on the stick into the skate, and now East Hans turning it up down the left side. Is Surrett out of the box now, and looking to advance that puck forward. Cutting down the middle, he'll get knocked off it, but hands it for Gillis. Gillis shoots off the glove there. Shot a little too far to the left. Picked up there by Duffy. Duffy works that down to Surrett in the back right corner. Now worked out in front, a nice little tip and a good save there by the East Hans goaltender. Getting big in front of that puck as the one time we tried to go in. That one back to Brewer. Brewer hands that off to the left side. Burke now standing in, shot that one into the shin pad. Up the left side now still. Held on to and the fake shot there, they're gonna try to get it out. Up the half wall, it'll be East Hans with a nice little advance of the puck there. Oh, and they had one man to beat to get the breakaway, but it gets knocked off the stick. As East Hans getting their opportunities here with 4.04 left in the first. Shots eight to seven here. All right. 
right. We wait for the puck to be dropped in here. 4-4 four four to play in the first. That puck worked back to the middle. Up the left side, going to be hustled after. Quinton Land picks up on that puck. Land and works that over to the right side, just bouncing that off the boards. Back to Van Polgeest. Van Polgeest hands that off to O'Leary. Number two, O'Leary comes in with a shot, leaves it for McLean. McLean with a nice move there to toe drag around. What a good play there by McLean as he had the shot opportunity, but he said, I can do one better here. Gets in front and gets a better shot off. Perfectly executed. Down the left side there in the corner. Land now with it. He'll hand that off to McLean. It goes through the legs, but Van Polgies will pick up on it there on the left side. Shot around the end boards. Over to Robertson. Robertson hustling that down in. It's on the stick. Back to Land. Land's going to poke that down and a good play there to keep it in the zone now. McLean battling for it and that'll fall outside the zone now. Hustled after there by Robertson. Robertson show, or Bedford showing why they're the top team in the league here today, even though the score is close. Very impressed with their game right now. Just, just mature playing out there by this team and each guy knows the right move to make and not just to shoot it out, to take a second with it and hold on to that puck, advance the puck when they should. They're doing complete line change, com like line combinations, line changes together and just a well in tune team that's played a couple games and you can tell that the experience this year, oh, this will be the 10th game of the year, regular season, so a little over 10 games for them. For the Bedford team is just paying off very well for this Bedford team. This is a well-oiled machine out there right now. As that gets back to McPhee. McPhee trying to advance that. It hits the stick there. Hakala and sent on deep. Off the end wall there. As Hakala picks that up, drops that back to Burke. Burke who started up the scoring, wraps that around and hits the post on a quick one. Hopkins down the right side. Gonna try to cut that puck off. They do is it's sent on deep. Hakala will change up and Burke will hustle in after that still. Van Polge, or uh, Mood out there with them. And like I said, there's no one, if you see your line mates are off, you're going off there. Mood then goes touched in the net, that one high in the zone. He'll stay on that puck. Be down to Brian. Brian works the front to Mood and that off the stick. Over to the right side, held on to. McPhee now wrapping around, looking for the wraparound goal. And it's in as it slips by the pad. And McPhee, after giving up that first one where he got beat on the back check on the PK, he's got two goals since then and is playing a very solid game right now. This first period, it's been a exciting first period here so far, up and down. With 1.26 to go, left in the first shot, 11 to 8. Let's go, punch! As the Penguins down two once again, looking to get back in this one. There's Brian out there now with a new set of line mates. So it looks like he was the one who was hanging on there, playing with Burke and Mood before. That one, a hard shot. Just misses over the top. Back to Gillis in the middle. Gillis shoots that in, and that one's rebounded out, and puck's still loose, and then that trickles in. No goal, they're saying, as that puck was covered up, so they're not gonna count it. It did fall in, and the whistle was blown after it went in the net, but the referee says that wasn't a goal, okay? The puck was definitely loose and trickled in, and the whistle's blown after, but the ref deemed that that puck was covered, and to be fair to the East Hands goalie, that puck did look like it was covered for long enough where the whistle should have been blown. Just maybe hesitated a bit. Nonetheless, we'll continue on here. Now try to work that out in front. It's loose, down low. Duffy waiting for the pass, and that one gets past the skate there. So East Hans trying to cut it down the right side. Covered on D though, and Gillis with some good defense there with a lot of pressure on him, just chopping away at that puck. And like I said, knowing he can't make that great play of just shooting into the zone, he elects to do the defensive play of just chopping away at that puck. And that's the heads up play you need on your back end, knowing that one play's not gonna work, you gotta go at it a different way. And Gillis did that very well, down to Brian on the left side, he'll hold on to it, gets knocked off the stick there. Up the right side, trying to advance. 
putting that down low. Over to Brewer and then back to McLean. McLean advances that off the wall. In between the legs there, that'll fall back to Duffy. Duffy picks up on it. Duffy waits for that puck to be banked off the boards. Down low in the zone, held on to now. Over to the left side. And that'll be the end of the first period. So a very entertaining first period. We'll be back in about two to three minutes to continue on, but 4-2 Bedford shots, 13 to eight as they look to go for their 10th win in a row, their 10th win of the year. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, we're right back at it with second period action now is during these AAA games, they do 50 minute periods, but they only flood after the second. So we get the short break in between the first and the second, and that's where we stand right now, ready to go here. Bedford trying to keep momentum. That shot off the right side. McLean tries to work that puck forward. Chance there, once again, have it back on the D, back to the line, held on to. Land gets to the open area with a nice shot there, off the pad. Wrapped in behind. Over to Robertson, Robertson drops that back. McLean has it now. McLean cuts that one out in front, worked over to Land on the left side. Land shoots that, that misses off the right post. And it'll be down to McLean. McLean then back in front. Chance there for O'Leary, and he just waits half a second too long, but McLean gets the shot off and finds the back of the net there. So goal here in the first minute of the second period. Be 5-2. And that was a good job by Land there. Gotta keep pointing out the Fantastic plays I'm seeing out there as Land hands that puck off, gets open to the open area, just right in the middle of the ice above that ringette line, gets the shot off, covers back to his D, and there's a big rebound there that they're able to capitalize on twice. So that's just the type of play you're going to need if you want to win here. And that one turned over down the middle here as East Hans has a chance the other way, looking for a goal here. Sock backhand hits the glove, and a tough break for East Hans as they're looking to get back in this game. The breakaway hit off the shin pad and all sorts of room there in front. As now, there'll be a foot race back the other way. Cutting to the outside, it'll be an odd man rush. Burke has a chance for a shot, has, looks five pole. Catches the stick of the goalie with a nice save there. And then off the left side, looking to shoot that in, it'll be covered up. Get him. Don't let him dig. As Burke had a big opportunity down the right side there. Ready to go here, 13.25 to go in the second. Still tons and tons of time left in this game, so East Hans looking to put the next one on the board here. As that pass gets handed off and then back to the line and Surrett now trying to advance that puck forward. He'll get pinched in along the boards here as Gillis then tries to go down himself. Surrett up the left side. Or pass it, I should say. But a Comtois there. Oh, and a, gets knocked down in the zone. No call on that one there for Connor. So he gets sent into the back right corner there. Gillis be the first one to retrieve that puck. Gillis to Duffy. Duffy over to Brewer. Brewer up to Surrett for the nice play there. And then that one over to Gillis. And the arm goes up on the ref as the man gets hauled down entering the zone. Surrett's now drawn a penalty. 
And now the power plays will be three to two. So East Hant still with one power play in hand, but it'll be back to the power play here as they hold on with shot six to, or players six to five here as Bedford working that around the zone. Back to Duffy. That one hits a skate there. Going to pick up on that once again. Over to Gillis. Hard shot in there. Tip over to the left side. Open. And this is about a minute of it. six on five time we're running into now as Bedford just working that around in front. That one tipped on, wide, but they still got possession. Back to Gillis. Gillis hands that down low and will finally turn it over. But good job by Bedford to show what they're able to do. Oh, it wasn't even a hole. So now the power play chances, like I said, three called against Bedford, two for East Hance. And it'll be two shorthanded goals and a power play goal for Bedford already, which has been the difference. So they're looking to put another one in here. Six seconds it took them last time to score on the power play. Let's see what goes on now as that one gets worked down to O'Leary on the right side. O'Leary advancing that puck in behind the net, but he's got Van Polgeest in front. Instead, they're going to hand that to Robertson, back to land. Back to Robertson. Robertson back over to land. Over to McLean as he'll hand that back off to Robertson. A great play there. That one shot off the right side. Fantastic job setting that up as they both go hard into the boards there. Down to McLean. McLean gets it. Van Polkies now down to McLean. Himself worked in front here. Chance here for O'Leary. O'Leary backhands that. It goes wide off the left post. McLean now holding on. He's going to go along, try to get it by him. And falls outside the zone, but still with possession now. Bedford as McLean works on it. A minute gone on the power play, but O'Leary gets it on the left side. O'Leary will then circle back and pull that out himself. Surveys and hands that over to Robertson on the left side. He's standing flat, standing flat, ready for that puck to hit the stick. Land now advancing that forward down into the right corner. Land now tries for the Zegris and just misses. A good attempt there, though, as it just falls off the stick there as he looked to get that in the top left corner. That one in, kept in by Robertson masterfully down low. 36 seconds left in the power play. East Hans doing a good job of not letting too many direct shots on net. Off the left side, land in behind. Now work to front, Mood nice. then takes a swipe at it, but it gets knocked off the stick. Back to the line now, McPhee, who scored that first power play, looking for another one, shot in, and that one hits the blocker this time. Yeah. A nice shot once again, and a nicer save. That one hit to the middle. As these Tants shots put it through the legs, stopped up. McPhee now advancing that. Down into the zone now. Onto the stick. Hopkins now hands that off, and they have a chance here. Burke has mood with them. Burke shoots off the pad, rebound, shoots, scores. Burke finds the back of the net right after the power play ends. So it'll go in as an even strength one. 23 to 9. The shots now 6 2. Is that 2 on 1 with the difference at the end there? as Bedford makes it 6-2 here at 9.44 left to go in the second as we continue on here. Action all game long here so far. Both ends, lots of penalties, lots of goals as Surrett cuts his man off and it gets worked over to the left side. Go hard in for that one. Trying to cut that one out in front, and it gets hooked off the stick there, and he's getting all sorts of pressure from behind there, trying to work it to the middle. Brewer then leaves that puck to look for the shot, but it gets Skate. dropped off to East Hans, who worked that up the middle, onto the stick there, and over to the left side. Held on to. Trying to advance that puck forward, deep in the zone. Held on to now. With it behind the net, we're gonna work it over once again. No one really there in front for Bedford as Connor works that out for East Hans, but it'll be chased after there by Duffy. He's gonna pick up on that, do a stop up play, try to work it back, but Connor gets it down the middle and he'll get that knocked off the stick. It'll be a penalty there and they almost get the goal and there's Gillis goes for it again, but the puck hasn't been touched, so they're still working on front. East Hans with possession. 
Down low in the zone, and now he'll touch it. The ref hasn't blown the whistle yet. So now four power plays for East Hans to the two for Bedford. 8.28 left to go, and the, the coach may be talking to the ref here about that slow whistle. I've seen it a couple times here tonight, but they don't even know who really got that penalty on that one as Surratt will head to the box for the third penalty he's taken this game. 8.28 to go, two minutes on the clock there, power play time. But we're going to need some more players on the ice here, guys. We've only got two Bedford threes tants. So, <laughs> waiting for some guys out here, and here we go. McLean will head out there along with O'Leary as we waited for that to be worked out. But here we go. It'll be two minutes on the clock here. Shots 23 to 10 now as East Hans trying to get back in this one. A good opportunity here as they need a goal on this power play. Dropped in there. Puck goes back, trying to advance that forward. McLean will hustle that out down the right side. He's got pressure on him from behind. Man in front, he'll cut that to the middle. McLean shoots a big rebound, sends the second one in there. Two good saves there for the East Hans goaltender. Fanned on behind the net now. As Land tries to cut off that puck, it'll be over to McLean. McLean works that down. On the stick now, up the skate. As McLean works that forward. So going in behind the net now, looking for the best way out of it, and it'll be down the right side as they hold on and flick that in deep. Picked up by McPhee now. McPhee plays that up the right side. Into the middle, McAvoy cuts that off for East Hans. Good hockey name there. As that puck gets by, Hakala now trying to pressure that in. Hakala down, playing it hard, trying to get that to Van Polgies. He just skates right by that. A minute left on the power play here. On the right side there, hits the stick. Hopkins now with it. Hopkins holds. In front of the net, Van Polgies gets that on the other side. Had to chip that in low, no one really there to cover. It's East Hans all over it. Shot in there into the glove of Snide as he tracked that one all the way in. Seven minutes to go here in the second period. As we get a line change here. Look back to the middle, looking for the shot. That one high, misses off the right side. Gillis now with the pressure, and they try to work it out in front. Gets knocked off the stick there. Trying to advance that forward, just waiting for that to get wrapped around the boards. Hits stick there, and now Mood advancing it. Trying to play that one off. It'll be Mood with it down the right side. He'll get. All sorts of tangled up there. Trying to flip that back forward or backwards, and now it's into the middle. Up the left side. Rolston gets caught off there, and the power plays over. So back to five on five here with 6.17 to go in the second. Back to the line shot in, fanned on. Cutting to the inside now, into the skates. Looking for him up the right. Hackle going to chase with him. And that'll go for icing. So back the other way. 6.04 to go. As we'll wait here for the puck to be dropped. 6.04 left to go in the second. Cut towards the middle. That puck shot in high in the zone now. High stick gets canceled out. Back to the middle, over to Surrett and tries to get that one in. Gets work to the left side, trying to cut in. On and off the puck, back to the blue line now. Looking for the shot, that one hits someone in front and going down is Land. 
Worked around the left side now. Trying to advance that one forward. Ready for the pass, that one cut in front and it'll be out oh, free in front there once again as they pick it up, hustling onto the ice, looking for the shot. That one hits a body and worked into the back right corner. East Hans now turning that over once again. Surrett now with it. Back to Robertson. Cut to the middle of the ice now on the stick. Down the right side trying to keep that puck going in the offensive end into the skates there. One now picks it up here for East Hans. Back to the line. McPhee then flicks that up the right side. Back and forth action here. Haven't had too many great A chances here for a second. As that one gets worked down to Surrett. Surrett trying to play the stick there. He gets it off well. McPhee now, or yeah, McPhee down the right side. Is that in behind? That one hits a stick. McPhee deep in the zone. Back to the line. Gets it back there on the right side. Trying to shoot that ahead to McLean. McLean has it all up in his chest protector and now trying to get that in. Stopped up. Back to Hopkins. As Hopkins goes deep in the zone. McPhee now trying to get rid of it. McLean hands that off to the left side. Van Polgies cutting in with it now. Van Polgies shoots that one, misses off the right side. Off it could have been an unlucky bounce there. Back to the line. McPhee working that puck forward now. Cutting to the middle. Trying to hand that off. Down the right side, held on to and in deep. 3.42 left to go in the second period here. McPhee picks up again and he's been all over this shift. That one to the middle now. Oh, come on. Tries to get that open. It gets turned over to O'Leary. O'Leary then keeping that puck on side. Drops that to McLean. He'll circle off the man and then it gets cut to the middle for East Hans and then going in on that one. Can't quite get it to Hopkins but he knocks the man off just enough. Down the light side O'Leary working it forward. Deep in the zone and that one catches the shin pads there. They try to work that puck forward. Hakala battling for it. Stopped up. Mood now gets into it there on the half wall, but they'll continue that puck forward. Under three minutes to go here. We haven't had a whistle in a bit. McAvoy trying to cut that in off the back end. 6-2 the score here. 25 to 11 the shots. 2.45 left in the second. Back over to Mood. Picks up on that one on the right side. Mood now through the legs, trying to advance it forward. Pucks there off the left side. Looking for the play there in front, held on to. Stick handled. Worked there in front, Gillis tries to get it and they continue to hound them. Over with it, back to Duffy. Duffy shoots, that one blocked. Flicked in ahead, down low to Hakala. Hakala has that on the stick. With it on the right side, Duffy hands that puck off. Into the middle of the Mood. Mood looking for the shot, has the man on the other side, inside scores as Burke and Mood connect on a two on one to make it 7-2 here with a minute 55 after a long sequence without a whistle. Nice play just to create that two on one. And it'll be to the middle here with under two to play. In the middle now, held on to. Brian gets it on the right side. Brian holding it now, worked in front, and that puck was loose for the taking. With it down the middle, Surrett flicks that up off the left side. Brewer has it. As there's a big tangle up down low and the ref's arm goes up. And it looks like Bedford will be back to the box. Chippy there in front. One thirty-one left to go in the second period here. And 
The frustration of tap on the back there from Land. And it looks like they're still trying to figure out exactly what's happening here with the refs. So they're going to call 14 7 for a cross check. And we're waiting for the stuff to get sorted out here with a minute 31 to go. And confusion still out there on the ice. As we wait. Back to the bench there and the East Hans ref asking something. I'm pretty sure they got the power play out of it, so I'm not sure with the clarifications for. All right. And it'll be into the offensive zone here for East Hans as they will have the five on four power play. As we wait for the last minute and 31 to get worked out here in the second period shots. Shots 27 to 11 here. 7 to 2 the score. Down in the zone. As they shoot that one and it goes high over the right side and Robertson gets knocked off that puck hard with what, I'm not sure how they're letting that go, but they are. Worked out to the middle. Shot in, that one misses off the outside post. And Pucks in behind the net. They're going to try to work that out. And now it could be a two-on-two -two back the other way. Worked in down low. Off the left side. Look for the shot. That one squeezed in between the pads. And a slash after the player on the stick. The ref right there. Don't think you're allowed to do that one. But East Hans getting a little frustrated out there now. Down five here at the end of the second. Still on the power play though, so you don't want to give up that opportunity. As we'll wait here and remember there's a 10 minute break after the second period here. 57, 52 seconds left here in the second. That one dropped in. Over to McLean. McLean stepping in for the shot. A hard shot there. A big save by the goaltender as that bounces off the pad. Back to Hopkins. Hopkins works that up the left side. In through neutral ice. Down the right side, holding on to it. McLean now with it, puts it through the legs and will be hustled after. Into McLean and then worked on down low. Tourette dropped that back to McLean. Van Polgies dropped that off and it gets worked in. 18 seconds to go in the second here. McLean now looking for a lane to the net. He'll hold on to it. It's in his skates. He has a shot and a save there as he had a lot of net to shoot at, but finds the goalie centered to the net and centered to the puck. And that'll be 8.7 seconds left to go here in the second. As well, wait for the whistle. <laughs> Penalty kill for Bedford here. They're keeping that puck forward, but it'll be three two, seconds two. here for East Hans down the left side. It'll be a big shot, misses off, and that'll be the end of the second period here. So we'll take a short break here, and in about 10 minutes, we'll be back for the third. But 7 2 Bedford looking for their 10th win of the year. We'll continue on. We hope to see you in a few minutes.